Hey guys, my name is Aaliyah. I'm the mammal team lead here at the San Antonio Aquarium. I've been here for about three years and this is what it's like a day in my life as a mammal keeper. So the first thing we do when we start for the day is we feed our animals their breakfast and we get them all fresh water. Uh, we also do all of our food prep first thing in the morning. Uh, we do like to make sure that we give our animals some of their favorite foods. For example, Quill here loves his corn and sweet potatoes, so we try and make sure that we offer that on a daily basis. Afterwards, we start on deep cleaning all of our exhibits, um, which is not necessarily the most fun part, but it is definitely a necessity. And after we finish our cleaning, that's when the real fun begins. One of my favorite things that we do here is enrichment. We do this daily with our animals. Um, enrichment is any activity that stimulates their senses or encourages natural behaviors. Today, we're gonna be playing some animal sounds and we're gonna see what these guys think. So rough lemurs are the second rough lemurs are the second loudest primate species in the world, only second to the howler monkey. These guys can make their voices travel up to a half mile to communicate with each other if there's any disturbances in their environment, uh, such as a predator when they're out foraging in the trees. <laughs> Pretty loud, right? You should hear it in person. Oh, you itchy boy. <laughs> Something that sets us apart from other facilities are our animal interactions. We believe these are a really great way to educate people about conservation through hands-on experiences and just to build better connections with animals. During our lemur encounters, we do station training, which provides a guest the opportunity to pet the lemurs with a two-finger touch on the back. Additionally, we do target training, harness training, which provides people the opportunity to interact with our animals outside of their enclosures. Um, and it's especially useful for outreaches that we do outside of our facility. Uh, on top of that, we do practice daily recall training. How do you become a zookeeper? First off, volunteering. The more experience you have with animals, the better opportunities you'll have. Additionally, an education goes a long way. Having a background in biology, zoology, or other life sciences will definitely help you out uh, when it comes to working with animals. So there you have it guys, that's what it's like a day in my life as a mammal keeper and how to make it happen for yourself. Thank you for joining me and Quill Smith here today. Till next time.